So I'm going to need another switch. Yeah. Not not to have two switches, like so I can play one switch with my feet and one with my hands or anything like that. I'm just going to need another switch for when my first switch dies. This is harder than it looks. Drop. Wow, I did the ground drop thing. This is this is awesome. Okay, we found out, I found out today that not only are we getting um, Dauntless is coming to the Switch, but uh, Witcher 3 is coming to Switch, and fucking Torchlight 2. Torchlight 2 is coming to the Switch. So now, I played like 72 hours of Witcher 3 on PS4. I played, I've been playing nothing but Dauntless, like countless hours recently of Dauntless on Xbox One. And I played Torchlight 2 so much on my shitty little laptop that's not even for gaming that I kind of killed parts of it that will never grow back. And now they're all coming to Switch and yeah, I'm going to need another Switch. Not, not to have two, but you know, before my first one dies. Because I've done a few uh, Switch ports. Uh, reviews. I think I don't. If I could have every game on the Switch, I'd have every game on the Switch. In fact, if I get to have a handheld version of every other console, I'd have a handheld version of every other console. To be fair, like, but I, I missed a few. Like I've done a lot of ports recently, but I did miss a few. I missed. I didn't ever play Dark Souls Remastered on Switch. I never played Doom or Skyrim or Wolfenstein. I never got any of those on the Switch. But recently, I've done a few. I've done Dragon's Dogma, Saints Row the Third. But I get it, right? Because. The Switch does something that no other console does. We all do. We all do. We had the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt trailer uh, for the Switch. It looks downgraded. It does look downgraded, but we expected it to be downgraded. Um, it looks like, it kind of looks like it's on a PC on like the lowest spec settings, which isn't a bad thing. I don't think you need particularly awesome graphics to enjoy a game like The Witcher 3. It's brilliant. Um, Dauntless, I'm not too worried about Dauntless being dialed back. I mean, The Witcher 3, you could dial that back quite a lot and not really lose anything in terms of quality, I think, um, of the game itself. Dauntless is not really a graphically intensive game anyway, so dialing it back is not going to really be a problem. I mean, adding more players there's 10 million players now adding more players onto that server that's already got that dauntless is it dauntless anywhere thing where it's got massive cross play already ps4 and xbox one and pc and then we're gonna add switch to that as well i'm guessing is it's gonna struggle the frame rate i mean I, but you know it doesn't matter because they'll fix the servers and the game itself is kind of like, I, it's, everything's perfect for the switch in my opinion i'd play everything on the switch if i could i've played a lot like a lot, like maybe not all of them, but probably close to all of them. And I think out of all of them, Torchlight was probably one of my favorites. I remember playing, I've played recently uh, Chaos Bane, which I reviewed, I didn't really like it all that much. Path of Exile, which is free to play and just fucking brilliant. Um, it's well worth getting. If you're a fan of the genre, seriously, download Path of Exile, which is now on Xbox One. I think it's on PS4 as well, don't quote me on that, I might be wrong. Um, because um, I've, I've recently been playing a Switch an awful lot. I did like Katana Zero, did the Switch, uh, played the Switch port of that. I didn't actually play it on any of the consoles. I played Dragon's Dogma again recently on Switch, which is phenomenal and a really good port. Um, so, yeah, it's good. I just, I'd take anything on Switch, all of them. Just give all. I just wish they weren't so bloody expensive. But in conclusion, it's being able to play on the toilet. You know I'm not wrong. You know you do it. You play your Switch on the toilet. Because if you don't, what's the point in having a Switch? If you're not going to sit on the bog and play a few games of Smash or an hour of Dragon's Dog, maybe not an hour on the loo. I don't know. You might. I don't know your habits. I don't want to know either. Don't, don't put that in the comments. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm excited. Uh, Witcher 3, Dauntless and Torchlight 2 all come to the Switch this year. That to me is more exciting than Mario Maker. I'm not a big Nintendo fan, never have been a big Nintendo fan, so to me that's more exciting than Mario Maker 2, it's more exciting than pretty much any other game that's coming to Switch, <laughs> any other game that's coming to Switch this year, or, or next, to be honest. Um, I'm more excited about Witcher 3 on Switch than I am about Breath of the Wild 2. So, you know, don't at me. Oh, this is viable. You heard it here first, you can play the Switch with your feet, this is viable.